officials are warning of a possible triple-demic that could unfold this winter. We're talking about cases of COVID, flu, RSV. They're all expected to rise. Flu cases, in fact, are already higher now than usual for this time of year. So we're drilling down. We want to make sure you're healthy. Joining me now is Dr. Dean Winslow, infectious disease specialist at Stanford HealthCare. All right. So, doctor, first of all, welcome. We're so glad you're joining us. You're putting some things on my to-do list this week because we know the season is already off to a rough start. So what are you most concerned about? Yeah, so, you know, again, as you had outlined, you know, in your introduction that we really are seeing, you know, a pretty dramatic increase in other respiratory viruses, particularly uh, flu, which is starting earlier than it usually does uh, during seasonal flu seasons, and also respiratory syncytial virus, which is, uh, you know, causing uh, hospitalization of particularly young children, you know, who are susceptible to a condition called bronchiolitis. So again, uh, they're impacted as well. And, and, you know, we're on the, today where kids are out and about for Halloween and they're exposed to who knows what. So let's start there. Let's talk about RSV. It's a respiratory illness that attacks children. As a dad, this is something that makes me so concerned, especially this time of year. Tell us more about it. And for moms and dads and families who have little ones in their lives, especially kids who are out trick-or-treating today, maybe in the next few days, what are the symptoms to look for? Yeah, so again, and actually in older children and adults, you know, RSV generally causes fairly mild symptoms, you know, more of an upper respiratory infection or cold-like symptoms. So its greatest threat is with very small children, you know, babies and neonates, uh, and also at the other extreme of life, uh, uh, adults who are immunocompromised. Like when I was the medical director of the HIV clinic at our county hospital, I saw a number of, of uh, uh, patients with advanced HIV who got real sick from RSV. Uh, one of the things, though, I would like to reassure uh, parents, though, about uh, about trick or treating is uh, certainly uh, staying uh, outside. Uh, and trick or treating is really very safe. So I don't want to uh, be, uh, you know, like the Grinch and steal uh, Halloween uh, uh, joy from children. I think that's a relatively safe uh, activity tonight. Right. So let's get back to this talk of a potential triple demic. What is a triple demic, and what should we do to try to avoid such a thing? Again, this is the, the first year I've heard that uh, that expression, but I think it's, it's fairly accurate. So we are still in, in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, cases, particularly of the various Omicron subvariants are increasing pretty dramatically. I think the good news is, though, is that uh, the COVID-19 vaccine uh, does a really good job about protecting people against serious illness hospitalization and death. So, you know, strongly encourage folks to get uh, their uh, COVID-19 booster shot. Uh, and secondly, uh, flu is uh, uh, many years a, a big risk. I think the last time that we had perhaps this large number of cases was in 2009 uh, during the uh, H1N1 pandemic. And similarly uh, with flu, uh, individuals, particularly at uh, older folks, people who are immunocompromised and also pregnant women are very susceptible to getting, uh, you know, very severe illness from flu. So really highly encourage everyone to get their flu shot as well. All right. It's just a matter of putting it down in the day planner, making the call or logging on and getting it all scheduled. It can be that easy. Doctor, thank you so much. Dr. Dean Winslow with Stanford HealthCare. We thank you so much. Stay healthy yourself. We appreciate you, one of the helpers in our community.